Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and today I'm making this video because I want to talk about uh, something with you about a topic actually that I have been uh, reflecting on for so long and I want to share with you maybe you need to listen what I have to say so let's start so today I want to talk about um, about like people making comments about us or sometimes trying to get in our lives, you know, and tell us what to do or what we should be or should become and how that can affect us and how we should deal with that. So to start with this, I want to talk, um, I want to tell you a personal experience, a story that happened to me in the past when I was a kid. I won't take too much time so I, I i will try to tell this in a short time so um actually it was not in just like in um when i was just a certain age because it it happened during some a couple of years you know but when i was a kid you know uh i was skinny i still am <laughs> but i'm okay with that so um, but I was skinny and I was like, I, I just want to say that I was healthy, you know, like I have the three meals per day, even between those meals, I had like, you know, sometimes I would hit something even when I was at school, you know, because at school you have the, the breaks between classes. So I always had something with me so I could hit, you know, and actually because I possibly would feel hungry and you know want to eat something at school because i usually wake up earlier that you know compared to when i was like in school break you know but um so i had like i fed myself i have fed myself i was healthy i just eat like in a normal way and even when I went to the doctor, you know, for a checkup, you know, and or even when I did blood tests and all that stuff, everything was normal. You know, I was okay, I was healthy. Like, and I'm saying this because just because you're skinny or you don't gain weight easily, you know, easily, doesn't mean that you are not healthy. I mean, in some cases, sometimes, you know, it can happen but in my case I was okay and especially because I was still a kid I was still growing up you know like I mean it's so different you know to like you know like make a comment or thinking in all this situation like about a kid because it's so different when you're talking about a kid's body that if you would talk about an adult's body you know because I mean, it's different. I was still growing up and all that. So, um, so when I was a kid, I was skinny, and somehow there were people that feel affected. I don't know why, but they would just, whenever like I would visit them, because these people were like actually they are not close to me, but they still were from like my mom and dad's family, not like like family members that are close they are more they're not that close but sometimes we would visit them even if it was once a year or you know or even if we just for coincidence we met them somewhere you know when going out or something but yeah so whenever i was with these people they would all they would always make even if it's were if it was just one comment they will make comments about me and how i was skinny you know how they just thought that i was too skinny and i should be eating more and i should look this and look like that and like i and i'm really happy and grateful that i never felt affected because first i was a kid but even receiving those comments like, I couldn't understand how people could make these comments. First, because, like, for me, there was nothing wrong with me, okay? Like, 
I liked my body, I was happy in my body, and I mean, like, I was, like, seven years, you know? And But what makes me, when, like, even now when I think about this, what annoys me the most, and it just blows my mind, and I can't understand, it's like, because I know that some kids, unfortunately, they receive comments about their body, or, like, they are victims of bullying, but, like, in school, and, I mean, of course, like, it's not because the people, let's say, that are, you know, bullying this kid. It's not because they are also kids that you shouldn't, you know, care about it. Because it should. It's something bad. And those kids, like, they must know that they are hurting a classmate or making someone feel bad. And they should actually learn that from a young age. So they... You know, so when they become adults, you know, they don't do that, even as adults, even as grown-ups. Um, but, like, this, usually, you heard about these things that happen with kids from, that these comments are made from classmates or people, you know, at school. But what I couldn't understand is, like, in my case, those people that made these comments, they are adults. They are, like, grown-ass adults. Okay, like, how, because, I mean, when it's a kid, even if the kid knows what he's doing, that it's just making fun of a classmate or friend or whatever, but, like, these were people that are already adults, that they, if they don't, they should know that making a bad comment or making comments, you know, any type of comments about someone or someone's body, even if it's a kid or also an adult, like, is something bad and can affect others, you know, because sometimes people don't realize that it can affect, especially in this situation that, you know, in terms of making comments about others' bodies, like, imagine, like, you can make a comment and that will just get stuck in that person's mind and they will just overthink and, you know, try trying um, start to feel bad about themselves and these people can even get to the point that they can just have an eating disorder you know or any type of thing you know similar thing to that so like it doesn't matter which comment you're doing but you can do that you know because you are making other people feel bad about themselves and that's not right you know but back to my story so when I was just a kid and I was receiving these comments from adults, you know, and whenever I think about this, I can understand because an adult, like, knows exactly, you know, who, they know exactly what they are doing and, and they are supposed to be mature and all that stuff. They are not kids, you know, and like, so I couldn't even understand, but I just, like, every time that I just, you know, were with these people, if I met them, if I went to visit them, or whatever, each time, because it was literally every time, I would just heard about that, you know? Nowadays, I don't, I'm not in contact with those people, because I don't want to, and actually because, and... <laughs> That's a good thing because now I'm older and even like, because when I was a kid, and especially since these people were people that my parents, you know, know. And don't say that my parents were bad because they didn't feel okay and comfortable with that because, I mean, who feels good about anyone making a bad comment or even making your kid feel bad? And of course they they always stand up for me but and that's what even makes like makes me even angry because these people like it it makes you feel that they don't care about what you say because even if you say like i don't want to hear about this they will still do it but but i was saying i was a kid they would make these comments but, I mean, for my happiness, even nowadays, I'm happy that 
I never feel affected that. I never let that affect me. Like I hear these comments, like the only problem was that it really annoyed me. You know, it, it made me feel angry about this because I it was so annoying because every time, it was literal every time that I saw that I was with those people, they would say the same thing. And, you know, because you li listen to this, you know, you hear this comment one time, two times, but if it's every time, it will get to a point that, I mean, you are done. You know, you, you can, you can like hear a word coming from their mouth because it's over, you know? But as a kid, I never, and was something that I didn't really like about my, was a situation I didn't like about my childhood because there's a lot of people that I didn't, really like I, I don't like now I didn't like back then that but were people that my parents knew and sometimes even just you know for respect they would you know talk to that people or even visit them as I was saying especially because some of them were family members not close to us but we're still family members that sometimes they would visit it. and because I was a kid I mean I had to go with them you know, nowadays I don't have to and I'm happy that I just grew up and now I can decide like I don't want to have those people in my life or have any connection possible with those people so I just don't talk to them and and I feel better about that um, but so this is what this was the story so I didn't feel affected because I couldn't see any problem on me, you know, I, I, it was nothing wrong about me or my body and I knew it so I didn't care, like the only problem it was that like the comments were annoying me and I didn't like it, I didn't like those people, you know, but it didn't affect me, you know, and that's a good thing because I never, and I never changed because of those comments because I couldn't see anything wrong so if it was nothing wrong there was nothing wrong about me so why I would change some things you know so this is a story and there's also another story about the person and actually it's related with this and and actually um, in that person situation she received comments also from family members and she was also skinny like me and um, and uh, she also received comments you know about saying like all oh, that thing you should eat more you know and all that stuff there was people that even told that person that girl because I heard this from her um, that they even mentioned that a guy wouldn't like, you know, uh, how she looked because she, she was literally flesh and bones and all that stuff, but, which is, I mean, I, I don't even have words to this because this situation makes me so angry and makes me feel like there's a lot, like, there's like, it's a mix of feelings, you know, that I... I don't have words for that, you know, to describe how I felt about this type of situation. So the girl just told me and other people about this. So she received those comments about those things. She was skinny, but like as the opposite of me, she felt affected and she actually took action and she started to eat more, you know, because like, she literally did what they wanted her to do, you know. She started eating, she gained weight, and you know what happened in the end of all this situation? Now that she just, you know, gained weight, they told her that she was too fat now. So like, in, in this situation, especially the story of this girl that I'm telling you now, it's like, like the lesson that you just get from this is like these people make comments about you but like
like you are the one who decides if you feel affected or not about this because and i want you to hear this like it's your life okay you are the one who writes your story and i'm saying this because like and with this story you clearly like can see that it doesn't matter like if you're gonna do what they want you to do or not or if you're gonna feel affected about the comments or whatever because like it doesn't matter if you do it or not they will always have something to say like you will not like be perfect you know they will always have like you always like for them you will always have like a flaw or something that like has to be fixed or whatever like but you don't because you are the way you are and if you are okay with that like they can like they ha they shouldn't have a word on that you know and like you are the one who writes your story so like no one from these people or whatever if you already experienced this and because i'm sure probably you have because it's something that it's becoming like so normal unfortunately to know these people that try to tell you what to do and what you should be or you or how you should act and because of this like you have to learn how not to be not to be affected and take control of your life because actually you are the one because if if it's not the case this case of people telling what you should do if you are the one that would be searching help because you are in some trouble or whatever like these people wouldn't care about you because these people wouldn't care about they they wouldn't help you you know in that situation they wouldn't care because they would say like oh it's your life so you're the one who has to fix your problems because i have my problems now but when it's in terms of like wanting to humiliate you and make you feel bad and try to control you and like make you change so you are perfect you know to to be with them and to hang out with them or you know like don't you don't and especially because and with the story that like even from my story and the the story of that the other person that i told you you can see especially from the other story that like as i said before there will always be something that these people will have to point that is wrong so you can do this because even if you take the decision of do what they tell you to do and and i'm sure that these things are not like who you are so like if you do this and imagine like all the things that people told you to do or the life that you should have and if you think that you just do whatever they want like you wouldn't feel happy because like and i'm saying this because i felt this way and like i know what i want and what i do not want in my life i know the type of life that i want and what people say that i should do is far from being what i want for me because i know what i have to do you know like and like in a couple of days like just now i've like just realized that i actually have a, a big fear you know like because if if it before someone like would ask me like what is your biggest fear in life or such thing like i wouldn't have like an answer because i never thought about that but in a couple of days these days I, that like this week this last week or two weeks i literally realized while i was speaking i realized that like my biggest fear is not get to the place that i want to be 
you know, be the person that I want to be. It's not that I'm happy with myself now, but I have to be honest that there's some things and some dreams, things that I want and that I want to accomplish. So like, I don't have that now, but I will work hard to get there. So like my biggest fear is not doing something that I love or that I really want to do in my life. Because like, we have just one life. Like, we are here to live, you know, not just exist, you know, you, you are supposed to be happy, you are supposed to live, you are supposed to experience everything possible, you know, you, you are here to feel everything, you know, to travel around the world and get to know other cultures, other people, you know, like, there's so much things that, you know, to discover and to just live and I want this for me and I'm telling you that and I'm sure that probably there's so much beautiful things that you want to accomplish and that you want to have so like don't let anyone tell you or get in the way or try to sabotage you or even make you feel sabotage yourself because like that cannot happen you know, like, if you have one one life, and, and I'm gonna say this, because I think, like, if you knew that you're gonna, like, die in a couple of uh, hours, or, like, tomorrow, like, what do you would think? Because for me, since there's things that I, I still have not accomplished, I would be scared because I would die, and... I mean, I had never like accomplished that or I, I didn't follow all my dreams yet, you know, and I would be scared. And, and I'm saying this because I also the other day I was thinking about this because like we know, I mean, we can die young if we are like involved in some type of accident or even other things. But if you are not, you know that one day when you're old, you know that will, you will die, right? So like, you kind of, since you born until that day when you're gonna die, when you're old, you, I mean, it's just like a big amount of years. And I think like, sometimes we don't care and you always leave things for tomorrow because you're like, oh, I have so many years. I mean, I can't do this. Like, you know, maybe I'm not doing this right now. Maybe I'll do this. In a couple of years, that no, don't know that, and and I'm saying this because if you ask yourself, if I die tomorrow, or if I die in a couple of years, but like, if if the times, the like my time, being alive just gets shorter, like since the time is shorter, that's when I, like, will realize what my like priorities are, you know, and like, that's, I, I think that's something that we like here and there should ask ourselves so we realize what it's really important in our lives and what we really want to know what we want to do you know what we have to have what like to which place we want to go you know to get there you know so like if you let these people Take control because because they cannot, you know. Because if if you really need help from someone, you you realize that you can do. I mean, like you are the one who has to take, like, who has to make choices, you know. So no one can like take that responsibility from you. So if they can do that when you actually need help why they would take your place or your role from you know controlling and dealing with your life you know so if you know what you want and if your life is that important i mean you cannot let these people get in, in your life especially because if they are not got like if you don't feel like comfortable or if you don't even like 
about these people, you shouldn't even consider their opinion. And, and, and sometimes I think about this because like, I don't want to be rude, you know, to these people, but like, I'm really sorry, but I don't care what you say, because I'm doing this like for me, you know, if like, if hearing you or just let you, let your opinion get in my head and make me feel bad about certain things or even make me doubt who I am or what I am capable of doing. Like, if that's what is gonna happen, I can allow it because if that's the price that I have to pay, like, I, I mean, sometimes that's why, like, when you're chasing your dreams or doing certain things for yourself in life, sometimes you end up like doing this alone because it's really difficult to find someone that actually will be like supporting you no matter what, what you're gonna decide to do with your life because they, they won't judge you. And especially because like they have their own life and they, have, and, and they know that you have your life too. So like, I mean, you can support someone who can be there for them if they need you, but like you have your own lives and you focus on your things, you know, and you know your limits. Like you have a friend. If you don't like if you think that that person maybe is not in a good place and you think that you should give them some advice. I mean, that's not wrong, but you have to know the limit to that because there are things that only that person can do and you can say it you know uh, so i i don't want to lose my mind now and don't get too off the topic but actually is that because you remember what i said like you have one life and i want you to understand and to think and reflect and even write down like what actually you want to do in your life what what do you want to be and like and you have to work for that like you have to think and like all your energy has to be put on working on that on that you know like there's no plan b or c or whatever just your plan a what you want to do and you're gonna follow that you know because if you don't, you will not be happy. You will be just existing as like a life that you are not happy with. And and like, and, and that's it, you, are, you will have a life that you are not happy, you are, you're not happy with your life, you're not happy with yourself. And how I was saying about my biggest fear is like, I don't do some, like if I had to die or, or the day that I die or or even if not about that not like talking about dying but like if I was old if I it, like if I'm one day when I'm old and I look back to to these years now when I'm young and think like and I don't do what I want and then I think like I wish I would have done that or I wish I, you know, to, I wish that I had take a step forward, you know, that I had show, uh, chased my dreams, you know, like, I don't want to get to that place where I will have regrets, that I will think like, I should have done that. Because actually now I, I'm there's some things that I did when I was younger and actually one of them I don't want to take too much time but like I when I was a kid I had um, my first YouTube channel and I also actually before even for like when I was five six years old I also had a vlogger a vlog sorry um and i really enjoyed and loved to make videos to post so people like around the world 
would watch my videos and like that idea amazed me you know and one day when i have this youtube channel and like actually it was not a decision that i made like it, it it doesn't came the day that i was like i will stop doing videos because i don't want to actually it just happened like so naturally that actually that's what it, it, it's the bad part here so i just like i don't know why i just stop you know making videos from one day to other and that's why i decided to create this channel and also create a new vlog because that was something and it is something that is part of me i like to make videos and i want to do so much more you know and and you know create this big family you know and i hope that you who's watching the video becomes part of this family and i just want to make videos like if i can change like one person's like day if i can make it better like if you have a if you're not having a bad a good day and you just arrive home and you are feeling exhausted from work or school or whatever or, and if you follow me and you watch my videos and i mean just watching my videos distract distract you a little bit and just keeps your mind occupied you know and stops you from from thinking about some, that thing that it's making me feel upset i'm real happy that i can you know change that and i can even if it's a little moment that i can make other people's feel good and feel comfortable have a safe place so and that's why i want to do and actually it's my dream i want to like i i wouldn't say that i just want to be a youtuber because i also like to post on other social medias on social media like on other socials so but that's actually and I have to be honest, that's what I really want to do for my future. So that's why I just decided to take the step, to take a step and to start making videos because like if I want that and if I don't post, I mean, that's impossible to get results, you know, and to just like, if I don't post a video, there's no videos to reach people, you know. But yeah, that's what I have to say and I'm saying this because I have this dream and I know that some people around me don't like that idea but like if it's something that makes me feel happy and actually it is something that makes me feel happy like because there's something that since I started to do this when I was young this is like who I am and it's one thing that is part of me and I really love to do this and and actually I, that's why I created this channel and the blog, the new blog, because I realized how much I miss doing this and how happy and fulfilled I felt doing that when I was younger. And I, I, I want. I, it's good to be back and do this. And and this is an example because I mean I'm still in the beginning. I don't have that many followers but like everyone that decided to subscribe like i'm really happy that you took that decision i'm really happy that you decided to keep watching my videos and following my journey and that makes me really happy and even if that's not that much followers much subscribers it's still important like each one of you it's important for me because like you are part of my dream you know you're part of that journey that i am right now i mean right now so in like if the, my situation itself because i'm still in the beginning can inspire you and just realize that actually you really want to do this just go ahead and chase your dreams and no matter what other people are gonna do because and one thing that I'm sure that, and I'm still saying the same thing, but like from all this video, you understand that like 
If you listen to these people, you won't be happy. And even if you do, you'll come to a time that you won't recognize yourself, you will lose yourself, and you, like, all these things will bring you so down that, like, you will suffer and you would like to get to that point that you just realize that you lose yourself, that you, le you barely recognize yourself, you're not yourself anymore, you know, like, it, it feels like it's other it's another person and not you not what it used to be and especially because if you love who you are and if you change like you love the person that that version of yourself so why would you change it because someone tell you to change you know you shouldn't be and especially because if they just point out something that they think that is bad from you like and if you try to correct that like the next day, there will there will be another thing that I would say now fix this, you know, and 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 it will never stop because they were never they will not like they will never be happy about it, and maybe because they think that their purpose on life is to make others suffer or do anything, so that's why we have to be stronger and we have to realize that it's our life and what we want to do with our life that's the only thing that matters you know like for me what matters now it's my happiness so i'm gonna think about what makes me happy and that's the only thing that matters for my life so i'm just gonna work for those things that are that make me happy you know and I'm gonna work for that, I will put all my energy, all my thoughts, all my mind on that. You know, there's no, there's no much more that matters for me. You know, so you have to, and, and you have to do the same. Because like, that's what it is. <laughs> because for them, like nothing will get like, perfect nothing will ever be perfect for them but like they, they don't even look f for themselves they, they don't look inside and think that they have flaws and things but and, and especially because you have to realize and actually i don't get it because like why would you make comments uh, bad comments about someone why would you want to make others feel bad about themselves like are you so annoyed with your life are you i mean like what do you get from that you know it isn't better to just give a compliment or i know say something nice and just like make that person's day be a little better than you know but you but you just you no know, and just you just choose to make that person upset why and because like this question will be something that i will question myself about because i i think i will never understand why people think like why people always have something to say about others because if you have a life just get busy just just care about your life what other people do it's not your business it doesn't it shouldn't matter to you Okay, so just just stop, you know? So my phone just ran out of battery and I wasn't able to finish the video. So like the scenario, the background is different, but don't mind it. <laughs> so I just want to end the video and like the video, it's already a bit long. So I will finish now. And I just want to say once more, don't care about what people say, live for you, for, for anything, like, just be who you are, never change for, like, anyone, you know, embrace who you are, and be genuine, and be yourself, be different, make a difference, and don't let, like, other people tell you who you should be or who you should become or what you have to do 
and even if they make bad comments about you, they spread hate around or any of these things, don't let yourself get affected by that because I'm really sure that you are a really beautiful and strong person and you will get through this. So just love yourself and just follow your dreams, you know, just fight for what you believe and and yeah and that's all i hope that even though that this video was a bit you know a mix of things and and maybe it it just got a little bit confusing confusing i hope it still helps you if you needed somehow to hear me you know someone telling you that you can be affected about this and that you must keep going, keep walking and you know and just fight for what you believe and do whatever you want because you just have one life so just do things that you like and I mean just because something gets like something just went wrong or anything like that like it's not the end of the world, you know, so don't be like hard on yourself too. And yeah, and that's all like just live your life. That's the matter. The don't just exist. Start living. Don't care about others. And if you have these people that are not like good at all or make you feel uncomfortable, I mean you now you know what you have to do. So I hope you liked this video, I hope it somehow that my words were a help for you or that can like motivate you and make you feel a little better or at least after you watch this video you take some action and you know decide what's important for you and so yeah this is, was the video, I hope you like it, don't forget to subscribe and like the video and yeah. I see you next time. Bye.